So as I said, we will read the XML in Data Miner Cube and display all your info, but we need to know as well what you want to display that is data miner related. For this, we will use the shape data in Microsoft Physio. And these are kind of like label value pairs in which the label has to be unique for your shape. And the value will then be what data you will use. So for instance, we will set an element label and then we will set the value to the name of your element or the ID or something more complex, which you will see in later modules as well. These also exist on a page level. On a page level, we will use them generally for layout things um, or general page options. So let me just quickly show you in Visio, if you go to your shape data panel and you right click it, or we draw a shape and we right click it, and then you can also go to data, shape data, or you can do it from here, and then it will open it up for your selected shape. And then the two most important things are filling is in this label, which has to be unique, and then this value, which will be your element or anything else to which you want to link or an option for your display um, display options for Visio Shape. Okay, so if you're happy with that, you can click OK and this gets filled in. You can adjust this field while you're at it as well. So of course, this will then be present in your page XML. The cube code will read this out and we will convert it into something that is data miner related. There's tons of options, which is the main reason why you'll be following this training course. You can also pass specific options, as I said, um, be it for visualization or for data limitations, filters, stuff like that. We can even leverage the shape data to automatically duplicate a certain template shape. So a shape you will draw once in video and then it will generate a whole bunch of other shapes as well.